What up, y'all? So I want to come at this uh, dog crap argument that uh, the King James Version is just too hard to read. So here's my number one reason why. I don't think you should be reading any Bible version if you don't know how to use a Strong's Concordance and a Greek Hebrew Interlinear Dictionary. Okay? Sounds very complicated, but here's the difference. A concordance will show you a verse and the words that are being used there and where else it's being used in the Bible to help you understand context. And secondly, a Greek Hebrew interlinear dictionary will tell you the right definition for those words that were written in the original manuscripts, not an Oxford or English, or Webster's Dictionary, okay? Because you will see. <laughs> Just take the word repent, for example. Repent in the English Dictionary will tell you it's sorrow for sins. But in the Greek definition, it means metanoia. It's a change of mind, okay? It's for thinking one thing to thinking another, not sorrow for thinking. That's adding words, okay? What happened when Eve believed the serpent? He said, um, can, did God really say that you cannot eat from the tree? And she said, yes, he said we can't eat from it or touch it. Guess what? Touch it was not in the word. It was not in the word. So, the Hebrew doesn't say she couldn't touch the tree. It just said she couldn't eat from it. So guess what? Satan knew he had her because she didn't know the word of God. That's how important these things are. Um, also, you'll learn that if you know how to use these proper concordances and dictionaries, you'll, you'll learn how to cross-reference. You'll be able to gather more information and understand context. So... Also, another argument people have, and I, I think it's dog crap, is that, oh, the these and the thous and the thines and all these other words are too hard to understand. Okay, really? <laughs> Just get your definition, look it up. There's only a few words, and it will make you a better workman who needs not be ashamed, rightly dividing God's word, okay? The word of truth. So, don't be lazy but be a Berean, search the scriptures to see if what is being said is so. All right, you guys have a good one.